Let's try to repair a transponder. I've got a broken transponder, a repaired transponder, and a new transponder. I'm using my charging lead for my radio. We should have a flashing light. This guy does not. When I wiggle the wires, I want to say they're broke right here flush with the case. It'd be pretty hard fix for a normal wire splice situation, but there's not much resistance on these wires. It kind of feels just like the uh, insulation is the only thing making a connection there. So what we're going to do is try to Dremel this epoxy out, solder in a new lead, and uh, we'll see if we can repair it. Now I've already marked the negative side of the transponder, so when I solder my leads back in, I kind of know what side's positive, what side's negative. I prepped a lead here off of an old servo. Um, I've already marked the negative side on the wire. Now I could just shorten this wire and put it back on, but I'm going to install this black one instead. So we're going to start off. Let's just go ahead and what do we got to lose at this point? We're going to snip these wires off. Set that aside. Now I need to take, and I'm just simply using some ball tip Dremel attachments here. This one's a little bit larger that I'll start with. And we'll just kind of take a low speed and we'll kind of go in there and see what we can find. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but they're starting to get a uh, white line starting to appear. I'm going to say that's the, the edge of the green circuit board. So we don't want to go too deep in there, just enough to get low enough on these wires we can make a new connection. Because when I epoxy back on a new end, it should cover that new soldered connection. switch to the smaller Not for sure how well you can see that, but I've kind of got in there to where I want to get past the broken wires. So I've kind of got most of the epoxy freed up. Let's try to pull this insulation and see what's under there.
Okay, those pulled off quite well. Now I've got two little exposed ends to be able to solder the new lead onto. I'm going to fold those over. put in my little handy dandy holder here get some solder added to Our new lead attached. Let's try to see if we can get a red light. And we're back in action. So the next part will be adding epoxy. So on this end, I already put a little piece of shrink tubing to kind of stiffen up at the bottom where we're going to add that epoxy. Let's install that. Next up, we want to kind of create a form for the epoxy to sit in to seal this edge off. So we're just going to use some electrical tape. I might go ahead and wrap electrical tape around the whole body just in case my epoxy gets a little bit messy. And then I just want to go maybe, I don't know, an eighth or three sixteenths above the body of the transponder. And like I said, it's just going to kind of act like a form to kind of shape the epoxy. Just like so. So now we have a nice little hollow cavity there that we're going to infill with a little bit of epoxy. Throw these back in here. I'm going to take a chunk of cardboard. Uh, some JB Weld clear. Five minute epoxy. And 
add way too much to our cardboard. And to get that black color, we're going to add just a little bit of some gloss black paint. I'm going to give her a good mix. Alright, now you can see I'm kind of epoxied in the end. We're going to let that dry and uh, come back, remove the tape, and we'll see how we did. Alright, let's see how our transponder turned out. We'll get this tape pulled. Give her a quick test. Alright guys, hopefully that's a quick way to save a hundred bucks. Thanks for watching.